Hello and welcome back to the Movie Memo Recaps. Today we are going to recap a 2022 movie named Clean starring Adrian Brody. Keep alert spoilers incoming. The movie opens up in Utica, New York with a truck driver nicknamed Clean who works as a garbage collector. Clean works in a decaying and crime-ridden urban residential neighborhood. During his work he collects usable items which he keeps aside knowing that they could be of use to him. After his night shift he checks out and proceed to head back home with some of his collected items. In his attempt in seeking redemption Clean reveals that his hands are covered with blood and he is dirty. He says that no matter how hard he tries he can't wash of his past. He drives to a scrapyard where he prepares tin food to feed his dog and later move to AA meetings. An ex-military named Travis reveals that he was addicted to pills and Clean reveals that he was addicted to violence. Back home Clean lives alone following the death of his daughter and a divorce from his wife. He prepares some chicken meal and later fix an item he salvaged while collecting the garbage. In the morning he drops by his neighbors and offer a meal to a teenage girl named Diana. Despite reminding him that he does for her a lot yet he is not her father she gifts him a handmade bracelet. She proceeds to take the school bus and Clean moves to a thrift shop where he presents his item and sell it for some bucks. Shortly one woman enters to buy a gun and Clean's mind happened to be taken but later moved to another woman whom he buys paint from. Clean spends some of his time making himself useful in the community by painting off graffiti in his neighborhood. In the morning he notices some new tenants and offer food to Diana though he looks critically at the new tenants. While asleep he gets visions on his deceased daughter which awakens him and upon looking at her picture he gets emotional. The following day at Travis's barber shop Travis informs him that sometimes it's better to let some things go or else focus on how to live with them. We get introduced to Michael a notorious drug lord who has come to pick his son named Mikey from prison. As Michael is about to meet him Mikey instead gets picked by his friends which disappoints his father. They drive away with him but even when angered Michael decides to let it slide. At work Clean gets informed that he would be covering more areas since there was some cuts on the collectors. He starts collecting the garbage as he moves to different places. Meanwhile as he collects garbage near a seafood restaurant owned by Michael he notices some goons. They are in the middle of drug trafficking but he ignores them and continue with his work. Back home Clean is haunted by his past as well as the loss of his daughter. The following day he finds Diana walking to school because the school bus no longer operates in the area. He offers her a ride and while on their way she wonders why he always stays alone not even with a girlfriend. Clean informs her that he is not so good in women and only focuses on his work. Back at Michael's house Mikey gets dropped by his friends. Though he is late Michael calls him to join him on the businesses but Mikey sarcastically says that he wouldn't like to smell fishy. Michael finds out that they are short of five pouches of cocaine realizing that the Chinese transporters are stealing from him. Clean repairs a bicycle that belonged to his daughter and drop it at Diana's house to help her move to school. Shortly Diana's grandmother named Ethel moves out and inform him that he shouldn't be concerned because she is not her daughter. Clean replies to her that he is doing it to save himself as a lost soul. She tells him that the streets used to be happy with kids everywhere before the gangsters destroyed them that they now hide the children inside houses. Ethel tells him that she saw him painting the streets and that he is a good guy but Clean tells him that he is not. While at Travis's Clean reveals to him about his experience when he had just bought a bicycle for his daughter, he always felt happy seeing her ride it and always gets her memories. Michael spends time in church as his cocaine businesses keep on running. They pack the cocaine in small grams and supply in at the area as well as the neighborhood disguising as fish supply. The Chinese transporters have delivered again, and while offloading he calls Mikey to come closer, he hits the Chinese team leader with a hammer multiple times to act as a lesson to the rest. He later warns the remaining members to check their scales before telling Mikey to clean the squids. That night while collecting the garbage clean notices blood and the glasses of the Chinese Michael brutally murdered. He wonders but proceeds to empty the trash though shortly Michael appears behind him. He apologizes for the stench and tries offering him cigarettes but Clean refuses. He attempts to tip him but still Clean declines and leaves peacefully. The next day while driving his car breaks down hence stopping in a bad neighborhood. He goes on to check the problem but shortly a group of thugs run past him chasing someone into the alley. 
He then hears the man screaming which forces him to go see what is happening. He finds them ruthlessly kicking the man and he stands there watching in a dilemma. Shortly they turn to him but as they move closer another thug appears from behind and hit him out with a baseball bat. Clean wakes up in the hospital where he is being attended to but he gets memories when his daughter found him drugging himself. The doctor gives him a medicine prescription but Clean refuses to take it. At work he gets given a leave due to liabilities and on his way home he finds Diana outside at night. Informing him that her grandmother went with the keys he invites her to his house, Diana notices that he is not in a good condition and while moving around she notices a wooden box. As she opens it clean shockingly stops her which scares her to run away. At Michael's mansion he tries to talk to Mikey but Mikey is busy rehearsing rap music. This angers Michael to confront him but Mikey threatens him with a knife. Unable to kill his father Mikey decides to run away from home. As Clean drives by he notices Diana hanging with a group of thugs and tell her to go home because it's late but Diana coldly replies he's not her father to order her around. The thugs get confrontational and order Clean to leave but Diana finally agrees with Clean's request to avoid an argument. Back at the AA meeting one man talks about the demons that always hunt people making them lose hope that they can't do anything. Upon moving outside he approaches Clean and tells him that his face looks familiar though Clean denies. He reveals that he recognizes him as a partner to a notorious gangster. Clean works to clean up an abandoned building with graffiti. Upon looking inside he seems as if he noticed someone inside which prompts him to move inside and check out. Suddenly he comes across a toolbox with a wrench pipe inside. At night, while driving around he notices Diana's bicycle outside the thug's house. Inside they are smoking drugs and taking alcohol and Diana happens to be with them. She stands to move out but one of them starts to record her. They stop her from moving out in an attempt to rape her. Clean moves to the door and notice Diana inside which prompts him to beat the thugs with the wrench pipe. He ruthlessly hit everyone inside even the thug attempting to rape Diana. Mikey happens to be among the thugs beaten but Clean embraces Diana though the phone is recording. Clean takes Diana back to her grandmother though Michael is with injured Mikey. The doctor informs him that Mikey needs a surgery or else he might not be able to speak again but Michael refuses so that it acts as a lesson to Mikey. He watches the recording from the prior night revealing Clean's identity. Frank a corrupt officer informs him that Clean is a trash man staying in the hood. Knowing that Clean might have run away Michael orders Frank to kill Diana and Ethel in a messy way so that they hurt Clean before getting him. On the other hand Clean is leaving the town with Diana and Ethel but shortly a police officer orders him to pull over. After stopping he notices the officer to be those bribed by Michael. He speeds off his car after realizing the officer works with Michael and after a while he drifts off the main road managing to evade the police. In an attempt to change their vehicle they stop at a bowling alley and diner. Diana escorts Ethel to use the washrooms as Clean moves around the parking lot looking for a car to steal. While driving around some of Michael's henchmen notice Clean's car and upon confirmation they move out to head to the diner. As they enter Diana and Ethel are also moving out hence running back. As Clean waits for Diana and Ethel he notices one of the henchmen and take him away instantly before making his move and take his axe. The other henchmen are still pursuing Diana and Ethel who run to the back rooms of the building. They find somewhere and hide though it seems a weak spot. As the henchmen nearly reach them Clean appears suddenly and engage them with their own axe. The fight gets tense but Clean manages to dispatch them in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Putting them all down Clean goes on to meet Diana and Ethel and call them to leave. We flash back one night when Clean was still a professional assassin. Upon returning home he notices his drug syringe missing only to realize that his daughter had used it. Unluckily the daughter had passed on which broke Clean down because it was his fault. Given the love he had for her his life ever since never stayed the same. At a motel Ethel blames Clean that they aren't able to return home, but Clean promises to make things right. Clean then drives to return to the neighborhood and meet Travis who he informs about the attacks from Michael. He collects the money from his residence and moves to the thrift shop to buy some guns. His attendant friend offers him one of the best guns that could suit his need for it. Clean proceeds to collect more items and schematics but Frank receives a call and learn that Clean was a feared professional assassin known as the Grim Reaper. 
Clean calls Michael and warns him that he knows his address and that he is coming for him. Clean then starts to use his salvage skills to improvise a silencer for a pumped shotgun. He then sets himself ready and his back tattoo prove how notorious he was in his past. He puts on his armor vest and equip himself with different weapons and afterwards load them on his vehicle. Michael prepares all his men to wait for Clean and confirm they have tightened the security. Clean is back at his garbage collecting work and while sitting outside Michael's house he sets a trap on his electric box. It is revealed that he already killed all the guards outside and proceed to his garbage truck. As Michael and his partners celebrate with a drink Clean comes with the garbage truck and crash it into Michael's house. His trap explodes and power goes off hence Michael's men shooting at the truck. Already out of the truck Clean surprisingly opens a shootout on the goons. <laughs> Frank then engages him and a fight breaks out between the two. Clean however manages to shoot him with a flare gun. Clean continues to pursue Michael and while looking around for him he nearly shoots him surprisingly. He shoots at him again before Clean suddenly attacks him and they engage in a combat fight. Michael starts to hit Clean and while down he gets a vision of his daughter. Clean then turns the fight around and starts to hit Michael but when he is about to finish him Mikey shows up. He shoots Clean first and then empties his gun shooting at his father. He tries to finish Clean too but unfortunately he is out of bullets. Some time after the fight Diana's neighborhood has now been freed from the criminal activities as more kids have come out to play in the street. While pedaling down the street. Dianda notices a garbage truck approaching and smiles bringing the movie to the end. Thanks for watching. If you are new don't forget to subscribe for more of these recaps. Until next time, have a nice day.